Yo, what is good guys and welcome back to the channel or should I say good morning as the time is currently 7 30 a.m. For today's video I'm gonna be running down to the Goodwill to do some donations. I've got a ton of clothes I'm just kind of getting rid of uh, just because it is kind of changing in seasons and what I like to do with every season change when the weather is gonna change. I like to kind of move some stuff that I haven't worn in a minute. I get to place them with articles of clothing that are more geared towards the coming season. And so while I'm dropping this stuff off, I did decide to go ahead and do a little bit of thrift shopping just because honestly, it's been quite a bit of time since we've done like any level of like actual vintage shopping at the thrift. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day and we'll go ahead and get out of here. This hoodie is sticking out to me this morning. So I think I'm gonna go with this vintage Oregon champion hoodie. And I think what I'm gonna do is throw on some denim. Now, I have uh, these like denim hangers, helper hangers, hanger helpers, as I just kind of consolidate space. Each one of these holds like, I don't know, like 10 jeans. So that's definitely very helpful. So let's get that out of the way. And I kind of already know what denim I want to wear today. So here's the hoodie I'm going to be wearing today. It is an Oregon State hoodie. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. And uh, yeah, it's on a made in Mexico champion blank. This thing just fits and looks amazing. Slightly oversized to kind of go ahead and pair with the Our Legacy denim. Uh, this pair is known as the third cut digital denim and it does feature uh, distressing and, and a wash that is completely printed on there. So none of this is real. It's uh, just all uh, printed on. So I thought that was pretty sick. Keeping it casual today. I wear comfortable shoes. So here's a sneaker wall. Obviously it's not all my shoes as I do have stuff in my closet as well as at my office for display, which does house like, you know, my more expensive sneakers. But um, I think I'm gonna go with the gel Keanu 14s. These are the jound version. Yeah. These are very different. That's a joke. I've got the Dior Icon necklace to go ahead and pair or stack with the Locust Wild Honey Grace necklace. So here is today's full outfit, keeping it very, very simple, casual, and uh, yeah, just not really trying to uh, do too much as we are gonna be hitting up the thrift. The goal is really just to be comfortable as we uh, go ahead and putt around the city's thrift shops. All right, guys, so you just won't believe what just happened. Like, there's this dog that was just running around and it had a collar on. And so it ran into the street and almost got hit by a car a few times. I ended up like, you know, like, yo, yo, stop, stop, you know, whatever. This was my life, low key. I don't know if this dog's crazy or whatever, but long story short, after chasing the dog for a good like 20 minutes, I was like, yo, I'm getting tired and sweaty. Like, this is too much. So I stopped chasing it and the dog ultimately came to me. It's like, it was like my reward for getting my cardio in this morning, which ultimately led to me being able to corral the dog and some nice pedestrians held the dog like while I was like, yo, like I'm all hot and bothered. I was like, yeah, this is not my dog. I look like a crazy person. I ended up calling the number on the caller and uh, yeah, those nice pedestrians held the dog while I went and met up with the person and they verified as a dog and uh, so on and so forth. And then we're good to go. That was their dog, dog's home, all's well that ends well. Um, had to catch my breath a little bit, but we're good, we're back and we're pulling up right now to the first location. What is good guys just dropped off a lot of stuff and now i am parked to go ahead and go inside what i love about this place is their mission and that's to go ahead and take the proceeds of everything that's sold from being donated and to go ahead and bless people through giving them food and shelter and stuff like that so very very uh, dope organization and they are linked to a church locally which is called vineyard church they're charismatic church and if you know what that means it means they love to party with the holy spirit which is something i'm down with as well yeah there's like a whole line to get in all right so they let people in and as it turns out the reason why there's such a long line is because i guess it's on tuesday when uh, they restock or replenish like new stuff so that's what brought everybody out but man yeah i was here like a little bit early and they weren't open yet they don't open until 10 a.m so 
that's also whoa what the world are these wooden shoes it's kind of reminding me of like the Balenci pointy shoes which I don't like anyways yeah this place is just a huge warehouse of goods yeah, let's look at jackets first I thought it was Limp is this Limp Biscuit, dude? I don't think this is official merch, but this is kind of tough. A little Limp Biscuit hoodie. Let's put that, let's let's potentially keep that. I actually used to listen to Limp Biscuit back in the day. Don't judge me. I was a troubled youth. It's a nice little coat. I don't know if this would fit, but this would definitely fit into like that Americana vintage aesthetic maybe style these with like some blue denim white tee maybe a, a hat so uh first garment this thing has definitely been tailored because yeah this can't possibly work out and i'm not i'm not a big guy i don't have long arms but my goodness yeah, this can't possibly work a little velour piece right here it's kind of crazy it's got a bit of a crop to it not my style but i can definitely see somebody liking that on this side it's, it's really nice that everything's uh well, it seems like everything is sized. Little eyes odd. Quarter zip nylon. This is kind of cool. I'll take that with. That's kind of kind of nice. So, uh, next garment. Got this like oversized jacket, nylon jacket. Very uh, 2000s. It's very oversized. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I don't know. How are we feeling about this one? On the Sherpa line nylon jacket. Oh, this is kind of tough. 2000s zip up. Got the silver tag on there. Yeah, that's a 2000s Nike zip up. Nice color. I'll take that with. Here's that 2000s Nike zip up. This thing is extremely tough, in my opinion. The color's really nice. It's like a heather light blue. Nice little Nike logo right there. Yeah, this is an easy pickup. I'm for sure gonna cop this. Athletica over here. Probably chilling on that. Polos. It's a cool little jersey. Star Wars tee. It's gonna putt through the shirts real quick. That Dodgers shirt. I wonder why they uh they zip tie it like that. Maybe they don't want people trying it on or something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna zip through the tees. Oh, it's a Filipino shirt. This is kind of tough. Got a little Obey lined jacket. It's great for fall. Maybe I could just debadge this. And keep, just wear it as a, like a plain. I'll take it with. All right, so here's that uh, nylon quilted lined flannel. This thing fits really nice. Perfect for fall. This might have to be a pickup as well. I'll probably just debadge it, but apart from that, this thing's pretty, it's pretty sick, man. The color's excellent. The color scheme specifically got the light blue with the orange, very complimentary to like the fall tones. So I'm gonna try this up this stuff. I'm not gonna buy everything I'm pulling. Oh, Lakers. Who's this? A D jersey? Oh. This is a beautiful coat. This is all wool, bro. Tailored in the US at yo, I'm I'm gonna have to try this on. This is a gorgeous wool coat. 35 bucks. This one's got a pocket square in it. This is like a luxurious wool coat. So it's two of the same thing, probably the same size as I assume. Just which one I prefer more. Jacket does fit pretty all right, but the length is not ideal. 
only missing factor for this piece. It's, you know, the length of the sleeves is perfect. Shoulders is great. But I don't know about this length. I feel like it's just too long down here, you know what I mean? Almost like it's a, it's like a coat rather than like a, like a sport coat. The way I want to wear it at least. A minimal showing up at Mercy Warehouse. Only 10, oh, 20 bucks. Oh, I actually donated those. I actually donated these two. Another pair of minimal denim. 20 bucks. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of stuff that I end up uh, just dropping off here simply due to the fact that I just don't have this the storage space for it. Same goes with a lot of Locust Wild Honey samples. I did like a bunch of bags for Locust Wild Honey. I just dropped them off here when I decided to, to end that project. I think I'm good, honestly. I'm very happy with these two pickups today. And I do think I'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway just got done and I think we did pretty good just two items to start things off and uh, yeah I think they're very quality items I ended up spending a total of $17 a little side note you guys notice how smooth this camera is it's because it's a brand new camera I just got for my trip to the Philippines slash vlogging in general the Sony ZV E1 we're gonna go ahead and go on to location number two I have to stop at my office on the way though because I did forget my uh, neck collar thing to go ahead and get pov everything inside the warehouse today um i was actually holding the camera which is mad inconvenient eventually all right guys so after a quick little detour we're back on the road i went to my office swap out my battery for a fresh one and then i obviously switched mics as you can see here but real quick while we make our way over to the salvation army i did want to touch on some of the biggest NBA news, Damian Lillard is now a Milwaukee Buck. I think all teams won, to be honest with you. A lot of people are giving the Suns a hard time or even the Blazers a hard time. Like Honestly, every all of the moves made sense, which is something that's really, really rare to me. Obviously, I think the winners out of all of it are the Bucks, man. Like, dude, Their offense is going to be so sick. You got uh, Chris Middleton who can space the floor. Damu can really space the floor and drive and make plays. And you got Giannis, who's just going to have a big open floor to just, you know, do what he does. As of right now, my power rankings are looking like the Bucks at number one, Denver at number two. As much as it pains me to say this, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the Celtics at number three. And I'm going to slide the Lakers in as like a wild card at like, at like the top six teams in the league. Anyways, I'm going to focus on driving now as I am on the freeway. See you guys at the Salvation Army. Guys, so just pulled up here to the Salvation Army. Presently really busy for a Tuesday, so we're gonna see what we can find today. Hopefully it's not all picked off. All right guys, so after about an hour putting around in there, I was unable to find anything at all. I think we just ended up coming here a little bit too late as yeah, this specific Salvation Army is very, very well known in the area. And I did see like people with huge carts full of stuff. And I would assume that they might be resellers, but that's neither here nor there and really is in insignificant to me. Like, I mean, ultimately at the end of the day, this is an industry. The vintage industry is a uh, pretty thriving market and I'm not mad at that, get your bread. With that, I don't want to end the vlog here and now, especially not on that note given the fact that was pretty anticlimactic. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to another spot. All right guys, so we just got here to a new or different Salvation Army. This is actually a location I haven't been to. Right away, got some Uniqlo thermals. Nice little uh, Uniqlo piece again. A nice little piece too. It says made in USA. Nice little knit piece. I'm gonna try this on. Another Uniqlo sweater, burgundy this time. I like this color. Page private school. It's a clean Eddie Bauer crew neck. Pretty dirty, that's the only thing, but it looks like it's gonna fit great. It's got like a crop to it. 
It's an interesting little piece. Sears Men's Store. It's probably a uh, 60s. These shorts. Oh, these look huge though. Yeah, these shorts are pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna get them just to give them away. So there's like a group of people like chilling off to the side waiting for the new racks to come out. And they definitely hit a look. There's a bunch of diesel denim that just came out. All right, so unfortunately there is no functioning dressing room here at the moment. So I just set you guys down and I'm just gonna try on some of the tops here that I did find. Oh, dang. So I kind of like the fit, like how it's like a raw hem, like really loose, but it's like tighter up through the arms. It's a size large. I'm surprised it fits me. It's a little bit snug in the arms, I feel like. I don't know though. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't think I can, I can really wear this. It's, it is, it's, it is too snug in the arms. I just like, even just walking over there, I just feel like, I don't know, tool or something. But I think I'm gonna pick this up and give it away today's video because, like, compared to my height, I'm like disproportionate or a bit more proportionally sound. And then I think I'm gonna get these shorts that I picked up. And I'm giving away as well. Uh, for somebody who could fit like a 34. All right, so this next piece is gonna be a, a bit more unique. I've actually never worn anything that looks like this before, but it could be a hit or miss. I do like the color a lot. I haven't looked in the mirror just yet. I'm looking at the little monitor, but it doesn't look too bad based on like what the monitor is showing, but let me go ahead and check this out real quick. I don't know, man. This thing's actually pretty chill. Have a great day. Bye, thank you. All right guys, so I'm now back here at my office and before we end today's video, I quickly wanted to go over the purchases of today's video and in addition to that, let you know how to enter today's giveaway. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the first piece, which is this shacket flannel. I love the colors of it. I feel like they're definitely very, very complimentary. This light blue, cream, and orange base looks really good. And I can definitely see this being a staple piece for anybody's wardrobe in the fall months. Next up, we have probably my favorite pickup of the day. And it's this Nike light blue hoodie from 2000s. It's got the silver tag on there. And in my opinion, this thing is just so, so good. And from an evaluation standpoint, I've seen hoodies like this go regularly at like vintage conventions and stuff like that for well over a hundred bucks. So very fire piece. Whoever wins today's giveaway is gonna be very, very excited about that. We've got the Uniqlo Thermal that I picked up. I'm actually wearing one right now. I purchased two because I like this so much. I wanted one for myself. It's something I probably should have already mentioned is that I did wash all of this stuff. I vlogged it yesterday, did the wash last night. So all this stuff smells immaculate. Just a very, very good thermal overall. Fits really nicely. It's comprised of a nice cotton, nice weighted cotton. Got a little something for everybody because I did pick up these, I don't know if these are swimming trunks or soccer shorts, maybe both, but you have a mesh lined nylon pair of shorts. I thought these were really fire, Brazilian inspired, and you got the uh, the umbro hit there. This is a made in USA knit from Sears. If you guys aren't familiar, Sears used to have a pretty epic clothing line. They really uh, have a lot of good pieces. And finally, I picked up this green striped shirt, which I thought was a fun shirt. This is a piece that I could definitely see being uh, dressed up a little bit. You could go with like maybe some boot cut pants or something, and this could look very, very good. I thought this was a standout piece. Again, made in USA, the Sears men's store, very fire. But yeah, that was everything that I picked up in today's video. And to go ahead and take this stuff home, make it your own, all I need you to do is like today's video, comment your Instagram handle down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and be following me at Paul Fuentebella on Instagram. I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway winner on there in about 10 days time. So stay tuned on my Instagram stories. I decided to bring back some vlogs as I haven't vlogged in a minute and I did miss it. I really had a good time with it and I hope you did as well. As always, I'd like to thank you guys so much for continuing to support the channel, stop by the channel, be entertained by the channel. It really is such a privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content. Never take it for granted. As always, I'll catch you in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.